Now we can discuss about the difference between top level management, middle level management, and the bottom level management uh, in the in these following points. First one management and the administration. Second one includes includes means which are the persons include. Third one authority and the responsibility. Fourth one number of members. Next one competence, formation and the objectives and the policies, accountability and the decision. First one about the management and the administration. In top level, proportion of management is more and the administration is less. In middle level, proportion of management is less and the administration is more. Bottom level, proportion of management is too less and the administration is maximum. In top level management is more than in a middle level management is less administration is more than bottom level administration is more management is too less then second point includes top level management includes board of directors managing directors and the general managers are in, included for formation of policy. Then in middle level, de departmental officers, expert and the various field, fields are included in it. Then bottom level management, supervisors, jobbers and foreman are included in it. Third point of difference is authority and the responsibility. Authority and the responsibility is both are more in top level management, in middle level management comparatively less authority whereas responsibility is limited to departments only. In bottom level management least authority by responsibility is limited to subdivisions only. Fourth, Difference number of members. Then compared to bottom level, otherwise compared to middle level, in top level less number of members. Less number of members at the top level compared to top level. More number of members are more at the middle level. Compared to top level and middle level, there are more number of members included in your in bottom level of management. Then competitiveness. All around the development is required in top level management. In middle level management, specialized knowledge is required. In bottom level management, a requirement of knowledge for the one zone department and the sub department. Then sixth point of difference, formation of objectives and their policies. In top level, the policies, formulations and basic objectives are present in, in this level. Then in middle level, the policy taken by the top levels going to Followed and formulated, and it is passed to the bottom level. B bottom level management implements the policies taken by top level management, and then middle level passed the decision, policies, and various suggestions in bottom level management. Then accountability. In top level, accountable towards shareholders, creditors, government department and other government bodies. Then in middle level is accountable towards top level. Bottom level is accountable towards the middle level. Then decisions. A decision taken by the top level are more risky and comparatively more far reaching to a large extent that means there any mistake in their policy or decision that will affect the entire 
organization. In middle level management, a decision taken by the this level is very uh, very less and this key compared to the top level management. Day. But it is one to this level is to take care about the uh, implementation of uh, various and risky situations, subjections and their policies. Then in downside, a decision taken by the bottom level is very less risky and then there is far fetching and result is less or risky situations or risky policies decision is too less in middle level management day and then it is compared to middle level management day it is very less in bottom level management so decision taken in top level management that is very really important day. then middle level is uh, not much of risky then bottom level is not take care about the decisions or the score is after on the side that is the in regards of the higher department day. so these are the main points of difference between top level management day, middle level management day, and the bottom level of management now i am going to conclude it to today's class you are just to try to find out these answers answer the following questions first question who are included in the top level management day? second question explain management as a profession third question explain functions performed by top level management fourth question give difference between levels of management day. any five points you want to give answer okay thank you